Good morning, gentle friends. Welcome back to a new day. <clears throat> a slightly less croaky day than yesterday. Boy. Okay, so this is day two of the trying to eat more meals in smaller portions to see if that can help with some of this um, blood pressure and tachycardic things that I'm having. So, for breakfast, I'm just going to have one of the little Yoplait, this is the Harvest Peach. They are 150 calories a little pot. And then this is a, they're known by a lot of different names, but <clears throat> it's called a Korean melon. And the last time I was at the international store over in Blacksburg, they had them, these were locally grown, and I haven't tried it yet. I don't know what they're like. From what I'm reading online, it the inside should be white, and it basically, um, they said, they compared it to having a texture like a pear, and then when, you know, the people were like, what does it taste like? And some people said some of them are super mild, almost like a cucumber, and other people said it tastes like a cross between like a pear and a banana. And I don't know, because of the long haul COVID thing, my sense of taste is really off anyway. So I have no idea what it's going to taste like to me or if I'm even going to be able to taste anything. But we're going to try it. That's what I'm going to do for breakfast. And then I'll see you in a few hours, I guess, for lunch. Okay, so time for some lunch. So this is a take on some Polish dill pickle soup. It actually ends up being, I split it into six small servings and it ends up being 52 calories a serving. Um, I have done a post on this, which I'll link in the description box, but I wanted to have a low calorie <coughs> soup available for, um, this is before I started this. It, so if I was hungry and I wanted something that was going to be filling, but not high in calories, I made this soup for that. In the recipe, I accounted for the Greek yogurt, but I don't like to put it in there beforehand before I reheat it because it, the, the, it goes a funny consistency. So I always put it in there after. With that, this is some of the no need um, seedy bread that I made that I had. This is half of the loaf and I just have it wrapped in a paper towel and then in a little freezer bag. And so I've just taken this out of the freezer. I'm going to do a tuna sandwich. I have some bacon ranch tuna pouch and that is an 80 calorie pouch. And then <clears throat> I'm just going to put some of the little romaine lettuce and I think I'm going to do some tahine on there. And so that will be my little lunch part. And I just wanted to show you what I've got going on over here. So this is stage two of this little model that I'm working on. Um, I'll slide this over here and then I can, I'll, I'll drop in here what it looked like yesterday. So this is what I'm working on there. Okay, so welcome back to a very late, <laughs> uh, where are we up to? Meal three. Yeah, I have an alarm set and I ignored it because I was painting and so anyway here's what i'm gonna do i have half of a chicken breast left over from yesterday and i have some broccoli and then i had made some um balsamic vinegar and rosemary mushrooms the other day and so i'm gonna use those 
this is the alfredo sauce that i used yesterday i did i really like this one if you didn't see the video yesterday this particular one is 60 calories for a quarter of a cup or 61 grams which is fantastic the only thing that i have found about this is that um if it sits in the fridge too long it really gets thin and i'm guessing it's just a bit of condensation happens in the jar and it, it, it thins out. So once I open it, I either need to freeze it or use it pretty soon. So I'm going to cut this up and put this in the air fryer and then I'll steam the broccoli. The mushrooms are already cooked and I will put that together into a meal three. Okay, so I am going to have a can of Progresso Light uh, Clam Chowder. They say it is 210 calories per can. What do we got? So one cup serving is 100 calories, and then they're saying it's just over two cups in there. We're going to measure this out because, as you saw with some of my other things, it's not what they say. So this whole can is 524 grams so 524 grams would be 210 and we'll see what we get All right, so when I was at Big Lots the other day, they had $1.49 some ranch sunflower seeds. <laughs> uh, this is gonna sound a little weird, but I've never had in shell sunflower seeds. Um, so I thought I would give these a try for one of my snacks today. Okay, last thing of the night. Um, I still needed to use up about 250 calories. And I have hit my protein. I'm where I'm at with carbs. So I needed it. I needed those calories to basically come from uh, the fat side of things. So I'm going to have some Brazil nuts. And this is the Havarti cheese that I opened yesterday. Creamy Havarti. And so I'm going to have some of that, and that will finish me up for the day. All right, good evening. Let's review. So I am one calorie under my calorie target, so I've hit that metric today. Protein, I am a little bit over. I want to stay within 10 grams of my goal, which is 82, and I'm actually 12.2, apparently it's 2, I'm 12.2 over, so I'm a little over my protein goal. With carbs and fats, I want to stay at or below, and I am 3 grams under on the carbs and 3 grams under on the fat, which is not a problem. Now, the sodium. Woo! between the canned soup, which wasn't a huge problem, but those uh, sunflower seeds, dang, I, don't, I just don't know that, that that sodium figure is accurate, but I went with what the company says, so, phew. And then steps-wise, I hit my step goal today, I'm 313 over. So, that is fantastic, and then let's look at the day itself so breakfast was just the yoplait peach yogurt oh and the korean melon okay so here's the deal on the korean melon texture wise it is kind of like a pear i i get what they're saying the firmness is probably like to me it it was like a slightly underripe honeydew melon it is 
not as hard as an apple, but it's certainly not soft as like a normal melon. And I, like I said, I have the whole long haul COVID taste interruption and I can see where people would say it has a very slight uh, cucumber taste to it because I could I could tell that and some other people said it tasted like a cross between like a pear and a banana and I can kind of maybe a little bit see that to me it really didn't have much of a flavor at all it's not unpleasant but I had half of it this morning and I'm going to try the other half in a recipe of some sort. I'm going to look something up. So I'll do that for tomorrow. I don't know. It doesn't have a whole lot of taste to me. Let's put it this way. Unless it's super good in a recipe, I wouldn't buy it again. But it was all right. Okay, lunch was the skinny pickle soup, which I already talked to you about. And the no need CD bread. And then the tuna sandwich. So... This is the first time I've had that bacon ranch flavor tuna. I'm glad I put the hot sauce on there because it didn't have a whole lot of flavor on its own. <clears throat> it certainly didn't taste like bacon and it didn't have really a, a ranch flavor to me anyway. So yeah, it was okay. And then, all right, let's see. Clam chowder. So the light clam chowder, the texture, the creaminess is good. But again, it wasn't a particularly strongly flavored soup. So I did end up going ahead and putting some cracked pepper and some dried parsley on there. All right. Then I did another Alfredo dish. And the chicken was really good. I seasoned that with some of the tamarind seasoning that I've been using. And I just cooked that. Um, I was going to do the air fryer, but I actually just ended up doing it in a skillet real quick. And then I steamed the broccoli and heated up the mushrooms because I'd already cooked them. And that was very tasty. That was good all the way around. Okay, then I was kind of getting to the end of the day and I needed to use a bunch of calories. But the only macro that I had a decent portion of stuff left in was fat. And so I was trying to think of what I could do that was going to be higher in calories, higher in fat, not particularly high in volume. Like I didn't need to eat a lot. I just wanted something dense, calorie dense that had some fat in it. And that's where your cheeses, nuts and seeds and things come into. So I had 20 grams of Brazil nuts, which ended up being, I think like five. Um, I had 40 grams of the cheese and then I had, I showed you the, the 15 grams of the uh, sunflower seeds. But let me see. Those sunflower seeds. So this, as I swipe at the top, like this is showing the amount of protein in each thing. That's the amount of carbs. That's the amount of fat. So you can see the Brazil nuts had 13 grams of fat and the cheese had 40 grams of fat, which was good. But then let's look at the sodium here. <laughs> that little container of sunflower seeds, they say has 1,485 milligrams of sodium. So that was a big part of why I was over today. Then if we look at the canned soup, that was 1245. Um, and the skinny pickle soup was almost 600. And what else was there was something else. And the Alfredo sauce was just over 600. So yeah, that was my target today. So I was over by 1600. And then for my exercise today, I did my mailbox walk. I did a hundred of my arm exercises, a hundred of the air boxes, and then I did two boogie breaks, which is just where I play a video or song. And basically the whole goal is just to move in whatever way shakes your tail feather for the duration of that song. I put the two that I used today in the description box. So yeah. That is it. So I finished pretty much on spot on to where I wanted to be with the exception of sodium. <laughs>